Hi everyone, so I am back with another empties video. This is probably going to be my final empties of the year. Um, I absolutely love doing these videos and I know that you guys love them too. I always get really, really good positive feedback from my empties videos. So yeah, I have saved all of these for the last couple of months and we're going to go through and I'm going to show you what I have used up. So I'm sure you can see straight away in there we have some regular things that i always use this is the original sauce tea tingly mint and tea tree i've got a large size one here and then i've got two mini ones these two mini ones i did actually buy a six pack of them from costco and it worked out obviously cheaper than buying them singly so that's why there is quite a lot of these in here but my um eldest son absolutely loves this and actually so does my youngest one at the moment so we do really enjoy these and we'll go through these quite a lot and um, you've seen these in pretty much all of my empties videos so i do highly recommend them um, and then again some other regulars that we have here i have two gigantic um Batiste dry shampoos these these are actually like the big size if you can see the size of my hand there these are the big size 350 ml um again i got these in a multi-pack from costco again i can't remember off the top of my head how much they were but it worked out cheaper buying them in i think i got them in a pack of three um and it worked out cheaper than buying them individually and i go through dry shampoo like there's no tomorrow and my older son actually uses it as well <laughs> so yeah and i love this um the scent of this one as well the blush flirty floral i really really like that then we have we've got a couple of deodorants in here um yeah so we have two of the Lacura floral bouquet deodorants this is the 48 hour antiperspirant deodorant and this brand here the Lacura range this is just Aldi's own brand um I think this is about I'm sure when I first started buying it, it used to be 79 pence I think it has gone up more than that now I want to say maybe it's like I bought one the other day as well, you know, a different scent, but I'm sure it's maybe like £1.5 or something now. Um, I could be completely wrong, but I do highly rate the Aldi um, deodorant. To me, the Dove deodorant and everything else that I used to get, it's just gone sky high now. I mean, I went in, um, I don't know if it was Superdrug or Boots, but I went in one of like those stores the other week. And it was £2.50 for a little Dove deodorant. And I just thought, no, there's no way I'm paying that anymore. So I have actually been using the Aldi's brand. And I can't fault it for the price of it as well. Um, and these are actually, I was going to say these are bigger size. But I think they're actually the same size as the Dove ones. These are 250 mils. Um, but yeah, I love them. And this scent in particular is absolutely beautiful. I think the new one that I got is their actual um, like invisible deodorant. So when you spray it, it doesn't give white marks or anything. But yeah, if you've not tried Aldi's own brand deodorant, I highly, highly recommend those. Then I used up an Inset Extra Hold hairspray. I don't like the scent of this one. I'm sure I've featured these in my empties before. But if I'm being completely honest, I don't like the scent of this one. I feel like it smells like cheap and nasty. But this was kind of the cheapest one that was there when I needed it on a whim. So I just grabbed it. I mean, it works. It works great as a hairspray. It's just kind of like the scent that I don't really like. Um, Yeah, I kind of like my hairsprays to smell a little bit nicer than this one but yeah i mean it does the job it is a good hairspray um what else do we have we have got this i took the label off here um because i stuck it on kind of like a little bottle so i could travel with it but this is the simple um micellar water and this is the 400 ml size i always buy this um and I absolutely love it. I really, really love it. I've purchased this over and over again. What was the other micellar water that you could get with the pink lid? Was it Garnier? I think it might have been Garnier. And I think I've tried one from the B brand from Superdrug before. 
and I cannot get away with those. They sting my eyes like something like I've never known before. But this simple one is it's just absolutely amazing. It's really kind, it's really gentle on the skin, and it does not make my eyes sting, which is a massive factor for me. So I would highly, highly recommend this. I think I picked this up in body care, and I think it was about $2.99, I want to say. Um, so yeah, highly, highly recommend that. And I do have another bottle on the go at the moment. I absolutely love that. Then I just used up a packet of cotton soft, um, like cotton pads, the oval ones, great for obviously using with the micellar water as well. Then we have a shampoo. Um, this is Vosine shampoo. It's an anti-dandruff shampoo. And I think what happens with me, because I use dry shampoo, I feel like I get a build up of it in the scalp and things. Um, so that's why I wanted to get the anti-dandruff shampoo. It's not that I necessarily suffer with dandruff because I don't, but I just thought it would be really good to kind of um like give it a good shampoo and get rid of the um the residue from the dry shampoo. Now I really like the smell of Vosine shampoo. It does smell medicated, but I do like it and I always remember Vosine shampoo from when I was a little girl and obviously my mum and dad used to use this at home. So yeah, I actually picked this up on Amazon and I paid one pound in coppers for it. And I only picked it up because I made an Amazon order and I needed something else for like one pound something to get the free ship in um so i picked this up but i would really recommend vosine shampoo i do love it it's like an old school favorite and i know of a lot of people who really really rave about this shampoo as well so love that then we used up this listerine total care stay white um mouthwash um we've had this for a long time actually um but yeah it's all gone. It's all used up. To me, it is a little bit strong. I know some people like really strong mouthwash, obviously fresh breath and things like that. But to me, it was just that too much strong. I'd probably get like a weaker one um, next time. So that was that. Then we have got this item is actually brand new. This is the Secret Deodorant Outlast Sweat and Order. And I actually made an order with an air hostess on a Facebook group or something quite a while ago now. Um, and asked her to pick me up a couple of things. Like she put a post on to say that she was going to America on a flight and she was doing orders for people and things. I ended up getting two of these and a couple of other things. And to be honest, she absolutely had my eyeballs out. Um, I think I posted it on Instagram a while ago, like asking or like showing the haul. And then people were like, how have you got them? And I was, I told them how I got them. And um, then obviously people asked the price and things and I told them and they were like, oh my God, you've been well ripped off. So that was a little bit of a bummer. But anyway, this is brand new. You can see it's still got the seal and everything on. She actually picked me the wrong ones up. This is the clear gel and I like the white stick one because um, I did get one in my swap with Erin and I absolutely loved it but she actually picked me the wrong ones up anyway so they just kind of sat in my drawer and when I've looked it actually expired in June 2023 so that is going for that it is such a shame that it is a brand new product and it's never been used and um, especially considering how much I actually paid to get these products to me so it's a little bit of a bummer but these things happen make sure you check your drawers and go through them regularly just to see if there's any products out of date um yeah so that was that then we have this garnier ultimate blends nourishing hair food a banana and shea i go through phases with this sometimes i like it and then other times i don't it is completely empty um i think i used it that much at one point that i actually sickened myself with the smell um but we have been using it again my son absolutely loves this one in his hair and i'll admit it does really really make your hair feel super duper soft it is like a hair mask specifically for dry hair so i highly recommend these and they do come in kind of like um different scents as well i'm sure there's kind of is it a macadamia nut or an almond one or something and they're for kind of like different um, like different hair types and things so do check them out you can usually pick these up in superdrug for like three for two and things like that but if you don't want to go into superdrug or boots you can always pick them up in b&m and home bargains for that a little bit cheaper so i do definitely recommend that it is one product that i've purchased time and time again um what else do we have i have got this bubble tea carmen pillow mist i'm sure i got this in my package of chloe i'm sure it came in that um i have tried 
everything to try and get me to sleep on a night obviously some of you will be aware that my mental health has been an absolute tatters lately i cannot sleep on a night um and then basically if i do fall asleep i'm lucky if i get like two to three hours i'm basically just a walking zombie at the moment i don't know what it is i just can't shut off on a night and i literally cannot go to sleep um so anything that is marketed as like trying to make you go to sleep and stuff i'm all over it i did really like this i mean the scent of it is beautiful but if I'm being brutally honest, it didn't kind of help with my sleep or anything. It didn't make me feel any more relaxed on a night time or something. It was just a really nice smell. And I did use it all up and I would purchase it again purely for the scent. It was nice, but if anybody's asking whether it actually works for sleep, unfortunately for me, it didn't. Um, but yeah, I think you can pick that up in Home Bargains if I'm not mistaken. Um, then we have these Boots Expert Dental Interdental Brushes. Um, I was recommended these off my dentist um, and I absolutely love them. Um, they come with kind of like a little a little cap that you can put on them as well and I have used all of them. I will definitely purchase them again. They do come in different sizes and things but I just went with the size that my dentist recommended for me. Um, if you're all about like kind of dental hygiene and everything I definitely recommend those. You can actually get them a lot cheaper in places like home bargains and b and m but they didn't have the size that i needed mine's like a size zero which is the pink ones and it's 0.44 millimeters i think this is one of the smaller ones b and m and home bargains do um have them but they didn't have this size they do a range of other sizes which are bigger but i needed the smaller ones but i think i paid like three pound 80 for these which like when you think about it, it is shocking because you can go to home bargains and b&m and get them for like 99 pence but yeah you've got to do what you've got to do and obviously you've got to make sure that you're getting the right sizes and things so that was them then i am unfortunately getting rid of this strawberry pound cake body cream from bath and body works this is actually full i mean i'd say i've used it like about six times or something this is a beautiful a beautiful scent i absolutely love it um this has got fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream i absolutely love the scent but i don't know if you can see on the camera this is like it's bright yellow inside and it's all lumpy and gunky it doesn't matter how many times i try to spread it it doesn't go on smooth um it's just absolutely yeah it's definitely off it's definitely spoiled and when i kind of rub it in i can smell the strawberry scent like momentarily and then it leaves behind an awful off like scent so unfortunately i am going to have to get rid of that one which i'm gutted about but again i guess these things happen when we have a lot of but yes i urge you all to go through all of your products and check and make sure your things are still in date so that is that one i'm gutted about that one if i'm being honest um next one we have this sol de janeiro brazilian bum bum cream this was like i think this yeah 75 ml um i absolutely love this i have scraped it to within an inch of its life the scent is just absolutely gorgeous i think i do have another one and like another one of this side and i've got an actual big one because i got it in the molly may edit from cosmetips um i managed to pick her edit up on vintage actually um so yeah love 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 that um next up i used the liz earl balancing gel mask you all know i absolutely love this i've raved about it in videos before i will definitely definitely repurchase this i got this in a gift set last christmas and i have used every single part of it it's a gel mask but it doesn't feel like kind of overly sticky and like horrible like a gel it's a really nice smooth gel really really calming on the skin i absolutely love it and it makes my skin super duper soft um then we have just a garnier um like conditioner that come in my hair dye box and um, these come in my red hair dye boxes i'm not red anymore i've gone back brown and um, but i do love conditioners out of hair dye boxes then used up a little yankee candle this is in island blooms it wasn't the best scent if i'm honest it is really quite fresh and quite like florally which i don't really like but i burnt it all and it was okay i wouldn't purchase it again in that scent i did get this in a gift set but i wouldn't go out of my way and purchase this in the scent island blooms but if you do like really fresh florally scents you would love this one then the next items we have got are makeup items so we're going to finish off with these last few items here 
so i am getting rid of this eyeshadow pencil i've had this a while and i think it came in a glossy box or something the writing has rubbed off but i think it's by the brand de bruyers Brou or something like that and this is absolutely gorgeous you can see um like the colour of it is absolutely stunning, if you can see that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The problem that I have is it doesn't set on the eye. So it stays wet and then it just slides all over and it melts and it just like it creases and everything. So I'm getting rid of that. Um, next thing that I'm letting go of is my favourite blush that I have had forever in a day. This is actually by Jordana, which I don't think is even a brand anymore. It's in the shade 18 Touch of Pink and i have loved this blush so much but it it's actually got hard pan on now and i can't pick any of the product up um you can see in here it's like here you can see it's it's all gone hard pan but this is a stunning stunning blush it's a little bit more darker than what it's shown on camera there um but yeah it's always been called touch of pink but i definitely think this is more of like a, a peachy coral blush um but yeah, if that was still available, I would definitely, definitely repurchase that. That's been my fave forever, but I am letting go of it. Um, also letting go of this Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. I think I might have featured one of these in my last video as well, but I did have multiple. But to me, this mascara is just horrible. I mean, I like the brush, but I thought I would have loved it because this is the kind of brush on the CoverGirl Lash Blast. But this mascara is absolutely horrible and I definitely wouldn't repurchase it at all. Um, obviously, that's just my opinion. It might work for you. Great, but it literally just does not do anything for me. Um, next, I am, oh, I have used up this Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. This was in the shade five, so it's like a dark brown. You can see how like used and disgusting and everything is. It does have a tiny little bit left in, if I can, yeah. So it's literally got that much left in. That's kind of the shape of it, but I'm getting rid of it because I do have my trusty old Primark skinny pencils back now, which I love way more than this. I got this in a beauty bag. And I would definitely not pay full price for this product. I think it's some it's it's over twenty pound for this brow pencil from Benefit. Um, I didn't think it was that good. If I'm being honest, I much prefer my Primark one. Um, and there's no way I would pay full price for this. Again, that's just me. You might great, but for me, absolutely not. Um, another trusty old Primark item is the lip liner in the shade Toast. You can see it's like tiny now. I, I can't sharpen it anymore. But this is like a classic colour and I use it all the time. I do have backups. These are only £1 in Primark. So if you go in and they have this um, colour, it's in the shade Toast, grab them. Grab five if you can and just keep them as backups because I don't know about you guys, but in my store... If this comes into stock, it's literally sold out in seconds. So same as the eyebrow pencils as well. So when I go, I always like to stock up on a few at a time. So yes, that is that. And for one pound, let's face it, you cannot go wrong. And then the last item that I've got is my Laneige lip, um, lip sleeping mask. <coughs> Sorry, I feel, feel like I've got a frog in my throat. Um, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the Berry Scent. This was a 20 gram one and I have literally used every single part of this. I love this stuff. Um, I do have a couple of minis um, and I also have the big size vanilla one, which again came in the Molly Mae edit. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep the vanilla one because when I smell it, it's not really a scent that I absolutely love. Whereas the scent of this one, to me, is just absolutely gorgeous. I would highly recommend this. I put this on my lips every single night before bed. I sleep in it and then I wake up in the morning and I kind of just wipe my lips off on either a cotton pad or a little bit of tissue. And you can literally see the dead skin coming off my lips. I love this stuff. So yeah, that is all of my empties. Um, I've used it quite a lot. Again, I just love seeing what I use up and what I don't and my thoughts on them. 
I absolutely love filming empties videos. It's probably one of my favourite videos to fill in. But yes, this is all the things I've used up over the last couple of months. Comment down below and let me know one product that you have used up lately that you absolutely love and would recommend. I love trying to find um, new products. I love going by new recommendations and things. So yeah, if you've used anything up lately, comment down below and let me know. And I hope you have all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.